Let's uh, kind of jump into the theme overture as talking about empathy and uh, empathy is one of those themes that I think is is uh, related to emotions and feelings and obviously we talk about talent is about uh, a natural pattern of how people think, act and feel. Feelings are part of what talent is and, and this particular theme I think really begins with the emotional uh, attention to um, the emotional state of others. It's people who have a an awareness or a sensitivity to that. I think it also can be for people not just the ability to be in tune with how others are feeling but maybe their own feelings and to some degree have an ability to kind of express that emotion. So it's, it's, uh, it's both the emotions of others and the emotion of the individual themselves. Uh, this particular domain or this particular theme falls into the relationship domain and obviously when people have a, a good sense of how other people feel it gives them an opportunity to uh, a psychologist call it pro-social behavior. Uh, behavior, social behavior that can, can kind of build relationships and so obviously emotional understanding and emotional intelligence can certainly contribute to better relationships so I certainly understand why it's there. Uh, some nouns that we use, we usually try to come up with some nouns and some adjectives that kind of go along with this theme so some nouns are obviously sensor, expressor, intuitor, absorber, listener, resonator, and then even feeler. Uh, adjectives, uh, listening, emotional, expressive, sensitive, aware, caring, intuitive, helpful, instinctive are, are kind of words. Um, when you think about the balcony and the basement, I think this is a theme where there is some bias about this theme. And Danny and I are going to talk about this. I think sometimes the basement of, um, of empathy is that it is soft. Some people might even say weak. Um, uh, in terms of the, the, the balcony of, ba of this theme, though, it's really about a theme that I think uh, brings, creates trust, can bring feeling, knows just what to say or do. It's, it's, it really is about the ability to kind of customize your emotional approach to a person. Um, in terms of themes that are kind of similar and different from this, uh, Danny has uh, one of the other themes that he has in his top five is individualization. And I think individualization and empathy have a lot in common. They really are aware of and sensitive th of th to things that are inside of people. And in individualization is really I know who you are. I know what makes you tick in terms of the kind of person you are. Whereas empathy is more, I know how you feel, and uh, so so I have I think having both of those really enables a person to have real insight into people, because uh, people have personality and people have emotions, and so I think that could be the value of that. Sometimes it's good to have uh, some themes that can help to uh, harden <laughs> if if we think of empathy as a softer theme, there might be some themes that could harden this theme, toughen it up if it had to. And For example, uh, a theme like command or activator, if you add that to empathy, it might sound like this. Sometimes you will need to act even though it's going to create hard, bad feelings for someone. So that could be a theme that could add value. It, maybe you're, the, you're a rare person that has both command and empathy. Uh, but maybe you could partner with someone with those themes that could could push you to act even though there there's some emotional risk involved. Uh, analytical is another theme that I think is probably different from empathy. Many times when when empathy is high, analytical can often be lower. And so how that would work is when emotions are running high, the objective perspective might provide a more rational view of reality. So kind of blending the emotional with the logical with empathy and analytical. Um, there are also some themes that I think can kind of intensify and really add value to, uh, to empathy and those might be themes like positivity. Um, when you are aware of how someone is feeling, this theme can actually help people feel better. Uh, 
sometimes I've kind of used the the uh, the metaphor of empathy is like a thermometer. It's able to take the emotional temperature of a person. You can pretty quickly ascertain are they are they mad, are they sad, are they glad? <laughs> that's that's kind of simplifying quite a bit. So that's a thermometer. Positivity is a bit more like a thermostat. It's, it has this ability to kind of turn up, and obviously command might be another theme that could, could really influence emotion. And, uh, and even harmony is another thing that's more thermostatic in nature. It's really trying to manage the emotional temperature in a room. So, so those themes could kind of play together in that way. Um, there's kind of some interesting uh, statistics around uh, empathy. Empathy, 18% uh, of our database has empathy in their top five. And in, in the scheme of our whole database, that's really kind of seventh most frequent. Now, if you break that down male and female, and this is something we'll, we'll talk about a little bit later as well, um, women... For women, empathy is number five on their on the uh, the female uh, top five. Empathy is 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 fifth most likely. Uh, in men, it's twenty. So this is one area where there seems to be some gender differences. There, these this is not exclusive. Obviously, there are women who don't have empathy in their top five, and there are men who do have empathy in their top five. But it seems to be an area where there 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 are some differences. Uh, the theme that's most likely paired with empathy is developer, which really makes some sense to me. Uh, I think uh, empathy and developer kind of have a common uh, interest in, in others, how others are feeling and helping others grow. And uh, I have a feeling they kind of uh, the nurturing and uh, investing part really kind of work together. Um, the theme that's least likely paired with empathy is the theme is significance. And uh, so that, that makes some sense as well. Um, I found some quotes, and I found it kind of interesting when I was looking for quotes. Many of the quotes about empathy came from people involved in the arts, uh, acting, music. And um, there's some that are really quite, quite interesting. Uh, I'll just read this first one here. This first one isn't an, a, uh, an actor or a musician, but this is Stephen Covey says this. When you show deep empathy toward others, their defensive energy goes down and positive energy replaces it. That's when you, get, you can get more creative in solving problems. So there is something about empathy that kind of lowers the... Uh, the, the de defensiveness of people. Um, here's another one. Susan Sarandon, who is an actress, this is what she said. I think I'm an actor because I have very strong imagination and empathy. I never studied active, but those two qualities are exactly the qualities that make for an activist. And it's interesting that many times uh, we, we all know actors and actresses who become kind of activists for causes, and it could be that maybe the source of that activism is uh, the uh, the uh, the passion and and emotional empathy that they feel for a person or for a cause or for a group of people. Um, and here's one more: empathy is the starting point for a community and taking action. It is the emphasis. It is the impetus for creating change, and I like these. And I think I'm going to bring in Danny now. I like these because uh, I think sometimes people perceive empathy as kind of just a a state of feeling. <laughs> it's it's an emotional state, and from what some of these people here, they they're really talking about uh, this being kind of the emphasis for action.